Okay, so this is from paper 1, question 11. Question asks us to solve the following inequality and show the solution on the number line. So here's your compound inequality where you have two inequality signs. Um, so we've got to solve that and then show our answer on the number line. Right, now most teachers will tell you to separate this into two problems. Um, but there is a much quicker way of doing this, uh, which I prefer to use. And I think you'll find this quite easy yourself. So what you want to do using this method is to try and isolate x. Try and get x on its own here. So you want to get rid of the minus 3 first. And then get rid of the half beside the x. Always start with the number first that's not next to the x. So to get rid of the 3, all we have to do is add 3. So we put in a plus 3 here. And likewise, well, we have to balance it out by doing it here as well. And here. So if we go ahead now and add the 3 to the minus 2 on the left-hand side, we get plus 1. And then carry down our less than or equal to the sign. And of course, we're going to be left with a half x here because the trees cancel out. And finally, we add the 3 to the 1, we get 4. So we only have one more step now to solve this problem. We need to get rid of the half. So this, this guy here, uh, you might think, well, why don't we just minus a half? But we can't do that because a half is not a like term with a half x. They're unlike terms. We're not allowed to subtract in that case. So we have to solve this by either dividing or multiplying. Now you could do that by dividing by a half, because a half divided by a half gives you 1. So that leaves you with 1x, or x in other words, that's what we want. But the easier way to do it is simply multiply by 2, because 2 times a half also gives you 1. So again, we have to do it, if we do it here, we have to do it here and here as well. So we end up with, with uh, 2 on the left hand side, less than or equal to x, because it's 1x is x, less than 8. So this is answer is basically telling us that 2 is less than or equal to x, which in turn is less than 8. So in other words, x is between 2 and 8, but it can't be equal to 8, because there's no equal to here. Now, so that's, as I say, that's, that's basically saying that x is between those two numbers. Uh, now, but well, how do we actually draw this on the number line? Do we do dots or do we do a thick line? Well, it depends on what type of a number x is. And it tells us here that x is a natural number. That means it's a positive whole number greater than 0. So it can't be, for example, 2.5 or 2.3. It can only be whole numbers. So the way you show that is you put a, f a, a dot on each of the whole numbers that it can be. So the whole numbers that it can be are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, but not 8. So we put the dots from 2 to 7. So I suppose the, the only major tricky part of this question would have been dealing with the half, the half x. And um, just like within an equation, if you have fractions in an equation, you can always get rid of the fractions by multiplying by a number that all the denominators go into. So as there's only one denominator here, 2, then we simply just have to multiply everything by 2, and that gets rid of the 2, the, the denominator. So part B tells us that Josephine hopes to go to college. She's saved 3,000 euros. She'll be, she will attend college for 32 weeks in her first year. She plans to have at least 800 left at the end of the year. If she spends X euros each week, write an inequality to represent her spending during the year. Okay, the first thing to realize here is we're talking about an inequality. So something is less than or equal to or less than something else. Now usually inequalities signify some sort of a limit. So from this question, what would you say the limit is? Well, I suppose the limit is how much you can spend each year. So how would we work that out in the first place? Well, she has saved 3,000, uh, but she, has to ha she plans to have at least 800 left at the end of the year. 
So basically, the maximum that she can spend in a year is 3,000 minus 800. So we can therefore say that the amount that she spends in a year must be less than this amount here. So we can write the right-hand side of the inequality straight away. So we'd say less than or equal to because uh, she can actually spend up to and equal to a maximum of 2,200. Now, how do we figure out what goes on the left-hand side? Well, we know she, she, she has 32 weeks in college, and she spends X euros each week. So how do we work the total amount that she spends? It would be simply 32 times X. So 32X represents what she spends during the year, and that must be less than or equal to 2,200, as we've already established. So this is what they mean in the question, write an inequality to represent her spending during the year. This is her spending during the year, and it has to be less than or equal to 2,200. Now, if you look at the second question, it tells us that, hence or otherwise, find the maximum amount Josephine can spend each week. Right, first thing to notice here is the word hence. Whenever you see the word hence in a question, that usually means that you have to use your answer from the previous question to help you solve this one. So hence is your friend. It basically means you've already got the problem mostly solved. You just need to use this answer here uh, and it will get you quickly to the answer for this one. So always watch out for that. Hence usually means use the answer from the previous question. So let's go ahead and rewrite that answer. 32x is less than or equal to 2200 and the question wants us to find out the maximum amount Josephine can spend each week so that's the maximum per year but per week would be the x amount here so we simply that's what bit that's basically asking us to do is solve this inequality find out what x what what x must be less than or equal to so we take the 32 here, which is multiplying by x, we bring it across and divide it into 2200. Because here we were multiplying, here we're going to divide. So we end up with an answer that x is less than or equal to 68.75. That really means that x can't be any more than this number here. And remember, x is the amount that Josephine spends each week. So this is the maximum amount that she can spend each week.